What's up guys, Big Sun here today coming at you with a brand new video and in this one I'm going to show you how to rob one of the private businesses in Red Dead Redemption 2. So for this one you're going to want to go to St. Denny, Denise, Dennis, Denanis, whatever it is. You're going to come here, go straight to the gunsmith. When you walk in, ignore him, go straight to the back. Once you get back there, you will see a little door and you'll knock on it and this happens. Please don't do that in here. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. All right. They didn't let us in, so you know what we got to do. We got to walk right up to the register and point a gun at this man's head. Hey, Once you do that, it'll give you the option to tell him to get you, you into the back room. Back You're going to want to obviously click that. This is a back terrace. And then People follow him. Relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Go on, move. And he will knock on here or say something. Oh, Once you get back me. here, um, once he... Once he goes through this doorway, you want to hit him in the head with the butt of your gun. So just press B if you're on Xbox. I'm not sure what that is on PS4 because that's irrelevant. So you hit him in the head with B. And this guy, you have to get him to talk. So you can't kill him yet. So we start threatening and questioning him. And eventually he will tell us that the... Um, that the... The, the poker room is on the third floor. You, so once you get that out of him, you can kill him. You need to do it quietly without a gun. Because if you can get through this without even getting a bounty on your head. So you can't make any noise for that to happen, obviously. So either stab this guy or throw a throwing knife at him. Either one of the two. I think I threw a throwing knife at him. We'll see. Door at the end of the hallway. Just but yeah, down. so no shooting. keeps they talking. Me enough to care about this. I won't breathe a word to no one. He's about to die. Just wait on it. <laughs> Boop. He gone. Got to pick my throwing knife back up, you know. Got to loot his dead body real quick. Go ahead and loot the other guy's dead body. Because why not? And then we're going to run up to the third floor. And once you get up here, there's going to be a door that you have to go through and a guard standing at it once you come, once you go through it. So for this, if you don't want a bounty on your head, you need to run through there and um, kill him as fast as possible. It didn't work out for me. And he got a gun shot off. What I would do is go into focus mode once you get in here and throw the throwing knife at his head. Because you see my first one didn't hit his head, so he had a chance to shoot. And I thought I was good. I thought I didn't get a bounty, but apparently I did eventually, as you'll see. So if he doesn't shoot, then you'll get through this clean. Um, you get through with the money, no bounty on your head, nothing. But first off, you're going to want to come over to the poker table, take the $50 that's on the table. And then after that, you're going to have to question these guys. Uh, I'm sure you could just kill them right away, but then you wouldn't get the extra little bit of money. So... You need to question all three of them until you come back to the guy to the right of this guy, and he'll eventually tell you where it's at. So I'll let this play through. You fellas have got more than this. Where's the rest? The rest? No, everything was out there on the table. I ain't a patient man. Where's the rest of the money? I swear, that's all we got. I find out you fellas are holding out on me. It's gonna end very badly for you. Damn it! You keep your mouth shut. I will shoot you dead right there if you don't tell me where the rest of the money is. Oh no no no! Please, keep it together, you imbecile. You're gonna get us killed, Jim. Just tell him. Shut the hell up. There's plenty more in that safe on the wall. So as you guys see, this guy eventually spills the beans and uh, tells us that the rest of the money is in this mini vault here. 
And when I first did this, I thought there was going to be a significant amount more money in here because of all that we just went through. But once you take it, you will see. It's a grand total of $16. Let's go. But then there's a gold nugget on this table, which will give you another 25. So might as well take that, right? This lawman was in here. I couldn't, I didn't even know he was in the room with me, but uh, he was. So I had to kill him real quick. I don't know why he didn't just shoot me. The aim was a little off there. Sorry about that one. But yeah, that's basically it. And then I had to fight off all these guys because my dumbass let the first guy shoot off a bullet. But uh, if you don't let him shoot, then you won't get a uh, bounty. And then you get out clean, like I said. Uh, I eventually died, so yeah, I mean, it's whatever, but this is a secret little loot stash, and you can do it quietly without getting a bounty, which is really cool. Uh, it's like a little mission, so yeah, just remember to interrogate the guys for that extra 16 bucks, because it's that important, yep. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, uh, comment what you want to see next, and subscribe if you really enjoyed. I have a lot more videos on my page about how to make easy money on Red Dead Redemption 2. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.